。我哋就讲多一样嘢啦，点解 Part C 嘅第二部分呢、这个健康嘅男仔佢嘅細胞入面嘅腺粒体，我哋係讲。主要嚟自呢个捐赠者，而唔系净系嚟自呢个捐赠者呢？喂，咁多位大家好啦，今日咧就同大家讲一讲二零一九年第九条题目咧，有关于受精作用啊，同埋三亲婴儿嘅技巧啊，一啲知识层面嘅。上次就同大家讲下咧，一齐去睇下啲科学文献。去睇下啦，受精作用嘅时候呢，男性嘅精子佢哋嘅腺粒体系咪唔会出现喺个受精卵入面呢？有冇例外嘅情况呢？话啦，除咗三亲婴儿嘅呢个方法呢，仲有冇另一啲方法都可以去帮一啲患有赖氏综合症嘅女性都生到一个健康嘅小朋友呢？咁第一篇嘅科学文章想同大家一齐睇下嘅呢，就系、是、中文大学嘅教授揭示咗腺粒体 DNA。净系遗传自母亲之谜嘅成果咧，佢哋有少少眉目啦。咁虽然咧，佢哋就唔系研究人类啦，佢哋研究咧呢个干虫啊 ，round worms 啊，后嚟隐干线虫。咁我哋研究下佢嘅精子嘅线粒体啦。咁科学家咧已经知道噶啦，原来咧呢个线虫母亲嘅卵子细胞咧系会产生一个自噬作用，去吞噬精子嘅线粒体，并将佢分解嘅。即係話呢個自噬作用啦，嗱，吞噬大家知係咩啦？自噬即係自己食返自己，但佢唔係食個卵子，喎，食呢個受精卵入面嘅精子嘅線粒體。留意話佢唔係去食咗個精子嘅細胞核，喎，係佢嘅線粒體喎。當佢哋睇真啲嘅時候呢，就發現啦，原來呢個精子嘅線粒體喺母親卵子嘅自噬作用發生之前。就已經出現衰退嘅跡象，即係個卵子都仲未去破壞呢個精子嘅線粒體嘅時候呢個精子嘅線粒體就自己破壞咗自己啦。所以佢哋呢就形容為啦，我哋發現呢個精子線粒體呢有一個自我分解嘅機制，如同自殺嘅行為。當精子進入卵子之後呢呢、這個內在機制就會立即啟動。咁我哋發現啦，呢、這個機制如果係受到延緩嘅話呢胚胎嘅生存率呢亦都會下降。而呢个发现呢，亦都帮助到佢哋去了解一下有关于呢个机制嘅相关疾病，同埋改善一下人工受孕即系试管婴儿嘅技术啦。咁嚟到呢篇文章呢，我哋就想讲下啦，有冇机会父亲嘅线粒体系真系入咗去个卵子入面，而系冇自我摧毁嘅呢？咁啊，有位黄医生呢，咁佢就去研究嗰啲病人啦，因为啦，佢呢啲病人呢，都因为线粒体嘅疾病呢而出现疲倦啦，同埋肌肉无力嘅症状嘅。而经过佢嘅检查之后呢佢就发现啦，呢一位四岁嘅病人呢，佢个細胞入面竟然有晒阿爸同阿妈嘅腺粒体 DNA。喎。然后啦，佢个团队呢，就再去研究下其他家族啦，就发现有十七个病人呢，都有同样嘅现象。喎。但係呢三个家族呢，係完全冇血缘关系嘅，而父亲嘅腺粒体嘅存在率呢，係大约两成到七成左右。佢哋其中一个想法啦，去解释下啊，点解会发生呢件事呢？其实就系讲紧线粒体嘅遗传能力，乎系因为染色体嘅突变，咗啦，令到精子自我毁灭呢个机制失灵之外，亦都容许个身体細胞个身体系允许翻相亲嘅线粒体共存嘅，而呢个能力亦都可以遗传俾下一代。你谂下个概念就系讲紧咧，卵子細胞系个女性嘅，精子細胞就系嚟自于男性，即系外来嘅嘢嚟嘅。咁如果根據返我哋身體防衞嘅概念呢精子嘅所有東西，當然啦嚇，細胞核可能零計啦，其他嘢你嘅線粒體都係一啲極度外來嘅東西，我唔應該擁有，所以入到去嘅時候呢，其實我哋個卵子都有機會想殺死佢。雖然你唔自己懟死自己，但我都唔應該容許你存在。但係似乎而家呢個機制就失咗效啦。而呢個新嘅發現呢。或者啦，系可以提供到腺粒体疾病嘅一个新嘅疗法。喎。我哋喺题目就讲啦，三亲婴儿啦，系咪？将母亲嘅卵子嘅細胞核放入另一个已经剔除咗具有健康腺粒体嘅卵子，然后再混合埋啲卵子同埋精子做受精，呢、这个就成为三亲婴儿啊嘛，系咪？咁但係呢个方法呢，仍然啊都有唔少嘅道德争议，而且美国呢，都系禁止呢个技术嘅。英国咧系容许嘅，咁但系啦就当唔容许啦，咁我哋有冇其他办法啦？就系、是、如果用父亲嘅腺粒体 DNA 都能够改善到或者取代到有缺陷嘅腺粒体，呢、這个技术我哋叫做腺粒体置换技术
MRT mitochondrial replacement technique。咁啊，即使当母亲嘅腺粒体有问题啦，唔紧要，父亲嘅腺粒体咧都可以派上用场。咁但係啦，呢、这個理論咧需要更多嘅實驗啦，去證明一下啦。因為啦，精子嘅線粒體 DNA 呢，產生特別嘅機率係零射大嘅，咁會帶嚟更加大嘅風險啦。咁呢篇文章呢，其實佢都有講到呢。呢篇文章其實都有佢解釋下呢點解精子嘅線粒體 DNA 呢，係唔會出現喺個卵子入面嘅。睇最後一篇文章之前呢，咁我哋就講多一樣嘢啦。點解 Part C 嘅第二部分呢、这個健康嘅男仔佢嘅細胞入面嘅線粒體？我哋係講主要嚟自呢個捐贈者，而唔係淨係嚟自呢個捐贈者呢三親嬰兒嘅技術呢，即使我哋喺阿 Lily 個卵子入面抽取嗰個細胞核，喺我哋抽取細胞核嘅時候，係咪淨係抽取咗個細胞核呢？其實唔係㗎，係會抽取埋部分嘅細胞質 c y t o p r e s o m 細胞質入面佢係有機會含有線粒體㗎嘛，而呢啲線粒體係嚟自於 Lily 嘅。Lily 嘅腺粒体嘅基因系苗剔咗嘛，系突变咗嘛，咁即系话啦，仍然有一部分 Lily 嘅腺粒体系入咗去呢一个所谓健康嘅卵子入面嘅。咁对于生出嚟嘅呢个健康嘅小朋友，又有冇任何嘅风险呢？呢、这个就系我哋第三篇文章想讲嘅嘢啦。好，跟住啦就去到第三篇文咧，系嚟自于麻省理工生物科技嘅文章嚟嘅。咁就讲返啦，三亲婴儿技术其实都会引致一啲风险嘅，点解呢？咁其实啦，我哋碌落少少去睇下啦。嗱，虽然佢系英文啦，咁我略略去翻译一下俾大家去听一听啦。那个概念就系源自呢一树啦。当我哋想将阿 Lily 佢个卵子嘅細胞核抽出嚟嘅时候，其实无可避免地都有机会拎咗少少細胞质，細胞质入面都会有线粒体。而呢啲線粒體係有病嘅線粒體，咁即係話啦，當初呢，雖然佢嗰個份量係好少嘅，雖然喺胚胎嘅階段呢，少過一成嘅線粒體 DNA 係嚟自於 Lily 嘅，即係壞嘅線粒體 DNA。當呢個 B B 出咗世之後啊，慢慢成長嘅話呢，個比例開始改變，比例開始改變點變化啦？係講緊三成到六成嘅染色體變返做阿媽嚟嘅。坏嘅线粒体嘅 DNA， 甚至乎系一半一半。喺呢个情况底下咧，佢哋有个名叫做 reversion 逆转啊。咩叫逆转啊？本身冇事噶嘛，一比九十九噶嘛，得一个 percent 系坏咗嘅线粒体 DNA， 九成九都系好嘅。而家慢慢佢就坏嘅线粒体 DNA 咧增加增加增加增加，而令到个比率咧就拉翻匀，有机会变咗一半一半。咁喺呢个情况底下啦，其实呢个小朋友仍然都有健康风险，因为喺佢身体細胞入面呢，有一部分嘅腺粒体係功能不良㗎。其实对佢嚟讲都唔係一件好事嚟㗎。就喺拍摄嗰个答案啊，你点解咁特别讲 mainly from the donor？ 同一时间亦都令到呢个技术。拥有风险。Hello, students. We are going to talk about the 2018 question nine. Last video, I told you that we are going to read some to understand the process of the fertilization. The mitochondria from the sperm never appear in the fertilized egg. Any exceptional case? And we would like to study the free parents baby technique. Apart from this technique, another technique can help the female with the Lear syndrome to give birth to a healthy baby. So let's read the scientific journal together. CUHK researcher uncover the mechanism explaining why father's mitochondrial DNA is not inherited to the offspring. So it's just like in our question, the mitochondria they come from our mother but not father. So they are not really investigating human being. They are investigating a round worm called C. elegans, and they observe that the sperm mitochondria in the round worm exhibit sign of decay before the sperm reach any autophagosome, which is a cell structure known to engulf sperm mitochondria in a process named autograph in the eggs of the organism. So you know that what is phagocytosis, right? Phago, phagocytosis. That means engulfing, auto self. Self engulfing. That is a structure in the egg cell to engulf itself, but not really the egg itself. It's engulfing anything in the egg cell. 
In this case, it is engulfing the sperm mitochondria. They find that the sperm show the sign of decay before they reach the autophagous cell. So they find that the sperm mitochondria started self-degradation, as if they are committing suicide. The internal self-destructive mechanism get activated once the sperm penetrate an egg. And we also find that delaying this mechanism will lower the rate of embryo survival. This may help scientists understand the disease related to this mechanism and improve the in vitro fertilization technique, that means the test to baby technique. The second article, I would like to talk about the mitochondria from the father's sperm cells. So a doctor, Mr. Huang, Dr. Huang, so uh, he studied his patient uh, due to the mitochondrial disease, they easily get tired and fatigue in the muscle, and then they find that a four years old boy, he carry the mitochondrial DNA from both parents, father and mother. And his research team expand the research to three families. And then they find that 17 patients, they share the same phenomenon. All of them, they have the uh, father and mother mitochondrial DNA. And these three families, they do not have any inheritance relationship. And the father mitochondria, the survival rate is around 20% to 76%. They think that why this phenomenon happened? Maybe because the mutation in the chromosome passed from the self-destruction mechanism of the sperm mitochondria. This mutation also make the body cells allow the father and mother mitochondria coexist in the body cells. And this character can be passed on to next generation. And this finding, it could be a new method for the mitochondrial disease. The current method, what we use is the free parent baby technique, what we mentioned in the question. However, this method, it will need to some controversial ethical issues. So that's why some countries, they ban it. For example, the US, they ban it. Other journal, it says that the UK, they allow this technique. Think about that, apart from this technique, is it possible to use another technique? It could be a way. If we can use the father mitochondrial DNA to improve or to replace the mother's deceased mitochondria, so it could be a way to treat the mitochondrial disease. However, we need a lot of experiment to prove that the mitochondrial DNA from the sperm is really safe. Before reading the third article, I would like to talk about the part C number two. Identify the source of the DNA of the mitochondria in the boy's cells. The answer is that mainly from the donor, but not only from the donor. The reason is that in the free parent baby technique, we extract the nucleus taken from the egg. Does it mean that we only extract the nucleus from the egg? Not really. We also extract part of the cytoplasm from the egg cell. In the cytoplasm, it may also contain the mitochondria from lily. Unfortunately, the mitochondria of lily, they contain the mutated mitochondrial genes. That means that so-called the bad mitochondria, they will also be passed to the nucleus of this healthy boy. So in the third article, it's saying that is there any risk for this free parent baby technique? For this article, it's talking about the risk of the free parent baby technique. For the whole article, if you are interested in it, you can really read the whole paragraph. And I would like to highlight some key terms for you guys for the analysis. So the idea is that why the free parent baby technique? There are some risks behind that. Because when we are extracting the nuclear DNA from Lily, from Lily, so it's difficult to completely avoid taking some of the cytoplasm, including the mitochondria. And in the Lily's case, the mitochondria, they contain the mutated gene. Though at the embryo stage, less than 1% of the child's mitochondrial DNA came from the woman with the bad mitochondrial DNA, that means Lily. While over 99% come from the donor, mainly from the donor, right? But by the time the baby was born, the balance had shift, with between 30% to 60% of the mitochondrial DNA coming from the mother again. That means the 
bad mitochondrial DNA from Lily, they multiply. Make the ratio to make the balance being disturbed. So it's almost 50-50. Scientists, they name it reversion. Reversion, that means something reverse. The idea is that uh, when the boy, he is still at the embryo stage, is absolutely fine. However, when he was born, so he may have the bad mitochondrial DNA again. That means some of the mitochondria in the body cells cannot function well, cannot function normally. He will suffer from the Lear syndrome. Uh, that may be one of the reasons that the people, they reject this technique or these three articles due to have the mindset of the nature of the science, how can we do the advancement of the technology, or any risk, any concern, we need to think about it when we are developing some biotechnology.